many sights to see. Hello traders, Gary Wagner with WFGForex.com, your daily market update for Forex Gold, and this is the Daily Report. It is April 13th, Tuesday, approximately 2.30 Hawaiian Standard Time. Market is currently trading at 1150.83. Traders, as you recall, the other day we did move our stop up to 1149 on a protective stop. We have, in fact, at this point, pulled profits right in this area, just below this area. The market right now is forming or attempting to form a base. It is currently trading lower, but here's what I'm looking at. We have had a pattern, and this is what caused me to really move my stop tighter and look to pull profits. Of course, we entered our trade originally at 1097. And we had a good run with that. We, we got in right in this area here. We originally placed our stop below these candles, so right here. We then moved our stop up here. We then moved to 11.32, right in here. At 11.45, we added a, another set of positions here. And then yesterday, I recommended moving our stop to 11.49. Let me explain what it was that caused me to look at the market with some potential sell-off. Uh, that We moved the stop right in here. So we're in at 1.097. We're out at 1149. Quite nice profit. Even on the scale, we still picked up 4.5 to 4.9. We picked up a couple of dollars. But here's the reason that I did exit that trade. This particular pattern that you see in here is what is called a dark cloud cover. Now, a dark cloud cover is simply a pattern in which after a defined uptrend, we certainly meet that criteria, you get a long white candle, the market opens above, which typically cannot happen in Forex because it's a 24-hour market, but did in fact occur because of the fact that we were looking at a Friday to a Sunday, so it opened above and then closes at or below the midpoint. To actually take that call, so this is this is what I'm looking at in terms of the midpoint. To take that call, you would need a confirming candle. A confirming candle is going to be a black candle with a lower high and a lower low, and you typically want the close to actually take out the low of the white candle, which in this case it did not. So what you would be looking for is if this candle here, in, in its best case, let's say, scenario, um, would have looked something like this, meaning the entire body, that's your best example of a dark cloud cover. Now, we didn't get that. What we got was almost a hammer-like candlestick pattern. Now, a hammer is one in which the market opens up, the sellers are able to, excuse me, a hangman, the sellers are able to draw the market down, but fresh buying comes in to pull the market back up to near the close. So because of that, it is called a hangman at the top, and a hammer at the bottom. This is a doji, but had the body been a little bit longer, it would have been a good example of a hammer. Right here is a good example of a hammer. So what are we looking at? Well, we've got a couple of areas that I really, really want to talk to you about that I think are indicative of where this market is going to find some resistance and also some support. Now, one of the areas that we obviously need to look at is this one top here. And we can see that it actually did take it out, but was never able to close above it. If we take a look at the body of this candle here, we're going to see that that lines up pretty closely also. So you do have a band of resistance in this area. Absolutely, we do have 1145 as support. And also, if we go back to this set of tops, you'll notice that they also line up. So what am I looking at? I think that what we're going to see is as follows. 
we look to see if in fact we can get a base forming in this area and if we can see a base form between this 1145, 1146 and these tops here around uh, 65, I think what we're going to witness is a market that simply takes a little bit of breathing room. In other words, the market came down, we'll find and test support a uh, base here, and then we'll move back up higher. Now, if it cannot find support in that one area, the other scenario obviously is going to be it will come down and test this particular um, support area right now. And that, of course, is based on these tops here that are just above 1140. If it breaks through that area, where am I looking for it to go? I think that it will look immediately to react to this 1134 area. That's our Fibonacci 38.2% retracement level. And I would look to re-enter a long position there. So right now, traders, let's recap. We originally got in at 1097. We were out on a trailing stop at 1149. We picked up good profits on that. We picked up some small profits on our trailing position. We are neutral in the market. We are waiting to see how it reacts in these particular areas. Critically, is this one area right around 1145? If the market comes down, tests this area here, and can, say, find support, then we would look for it to move higher, and we would look to implement a long re-enter onto the long side there. If, in fact, it cannot find support, and the market carries lower, it's probably going to look to test at least this first, first Fibonacci area of 1133, 1134. We would look for it to go maybe to this area in here, and then we would look for the market to move up. In other words, I am bullish long term. I think the market's going to move higher. This is the first attempt it's had to take out a couple of resistance areas. It did take out this one area quite easily. And of course, we saw it go and test this area, but not be able to make it above. If you've ever read Steve Nissan's book, um, he calls this a scouting party. A scouting party is where uh, the bulls will take it to just above the range, just above resistance, and see the fortitude of the sellers. In other words, when the market did come in here, there were enough sellers to bring the market back down. So. We do have a, a couple of days where we are looking at lower closes. We are out of the market. We are sidelined. We will get back into the market as soon as we see a pattern and some strategic moves, meaning the pattern falls within either a um, support area or a Fibonacci support area. This has been Gary Wagner with WFGForex.com, your daily forecast for Forex Gold, wishing you, as always, good trading. Bye-bye.